The Great Barrier Reef is known not only for its beauty, but also for its mysterious stories. In this video, we will tell you the mysterious stories of 10 ships lost in these coral reefs. Number 10. Pacific Adventurer 2009. The Pacific Adventurer, a bulk carrier, met its fate on the Great Barrier Reef in 2009 amidst a tumultuous cyclone. Laden with cargo, the vessel's journey took a disastrous turn when it ran aground off the coast of Queensland, Australia. The incident not only led to the loss of the ship but also resulted in a significant environmental disaster. The Pacific Adventurer was carrying a cargo of oil, and the grounding caused a substantial oil spill into the pristine waters of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. The spill spread quickly, coating nearby beaches and marine life with a thick, toxic sludge. The delicate coral reefs, home to a myriad of marine species, faced grave danger as the oil threatened their existence. Efforts to contain the spill and minimize its impact on the environment were launched immediately, but the damage was extensive. The incident served as a stark reminder of the vulnerability of this natural wonder to human activities and the importance of robust safety measures in maritime transportation. Despite ongoing restoration efforts, the scars of the Pacific Adventurer's encounter with the Great Barrier Reef continue to linger, underscoring the need for continued vigilance and conservation to protect this invaluable ecosystem for generations to come. Number 9. MV Rena 2011 In 2011, the MV Rena, a container ship, found itself entwined in a maritime tragedy near the Great Barrier Reef, albeit in a different oceanic realm, off the coast of New Zealand. While not directly within the confines of the Great Barrier Reef, the MV Rena's fate serves as a poignant reminder of the perils faced by vessels navigating through treacherous waters. The ship, laden with cargo, struck the Astrolabe Reef during a routine voyage, leading to a rupture in its hull. This rupture unleashed a devastating oil spill, tarnishing the pristine waters and coastline of the Bay of Plenty. The spillage wreaked havoc on the local marine ecosystem, imperiling marine life and fouling beaches with thick layers of oil. The incident prompted an extensive cleanup operation and sparked widespread environmental concerns. Despite efforts to contain the spill and mitigate its impact, the MV Rena's encounter with the unforgiving reef left an indelible mark, underscoring the fragility of marine ecosystems worldwide and the imperative of stringent maritime safety measures. Though distinct from the Great Barrier Reef, the MV Rena's calamitous journey serves as a somber parallel, highlighting the universal challenges faced by ships navigating through perilous waters and the critical need for sustainable maritime practices to safeguard our oceans for future generations. Number 8. HMAS Warnham Bull 1947. In 1947, the HMAS Warnham Bull, a Royal Australian Navy Corvette, faced a harrowing ordeal near the Great Barrier Reef. While on a routine patrol mission, the vessel encountered rough seas and navigational challenges that led to it running aground on Myrmidon Reef. Despite the initial shock of the incident, the crew swiftly rallied, implementing emergency protocols to ensure their safety. Fortunately, no lives were lost in the mishap, and efforts were promptly initiated to refloat and repair the stricken vessel. Despite the setback, the HMAS Warnham Bull's encounter with the Great Barrier Reef serves as a testament to the resilience and expertise of maritime personnel in navigating through challenging conditions. The incident also underscores the importance of ongoing training and adherence to safety protocols to mitigate risks in seafaring operations. While the reef presented an unexpected obstacle, the professionalism and swift response of the crew helped avert a more significant disaster, highlighting the indispensable role of human capability in maritime endeavors amidst nature's formidable forces. Number 7. S.S. Dickey, 1893. In 1893, the SS Dickey met its fate on a beach near the Great Barrier Reef, off the coast of Caloundra, Queensland, Australia. The steamship, caught in heavy seas, ran aground on the shoreline during adverse weather conditions. Despite efforts to salvage the vessel, it became stranded and eventually succumbed to the elements, transforming into a permanent fixture on the beach that now bears its name, Dickey Beach. While the ship's demise was a loss in maritime terms, its wreck has since become a poignant landmark, attracting tourists and locals alike to witness the contrast between the vessel's decay and the natural beauty of the surrounding coastline. Over the years, the SS Dickey's remains have served as a testament to the unpredictable forces of nature, illustrating the enduring relationship between human endeavors and the resilience of the natural environment. Though the ship may have been lost to the sea, its legacy lives on as a symbol of the intersection between human history and the timeless expanse of the Great Barrier Reef's coastline. Number 6. SV Cataraqui 1845. In 1845, 
the SV Cataraqui, a British ship, encountered tragedy near the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Tasmania, Australia. The vessel, en route to Melbourne with a cargo of immigrants and goods, faced adverse weather conditions and navigational challenges. Regrettably, the Cataraqui struck an uncharted rock near King Island, resulting in its rapid sinking. This maritime disaster claimed the lives of the majority of passengers and crew aboard, making it one of Australia's deadliest shipwrecks. The incident left a somber legacy, highlighting the perilous nature of seafaring journeys during that era. Yet, amidst the tragedy, the wreck of the Cataraqui serves as a historical landmark, offering insight into the hardships faced by early settlers and mariners navigating through the treacherous waters surrounding the Great Barrier Reef. The contrasting narratives of loss and historical remembrance surrounding the Cataraqui's fate underscore the enduring impact of maritime history on the region's cultural and maritime heritage. Number 5. SS Quetta, 1890. The SS Quetta, a symbol of Victorian engineering, tragically met its fate in 1890 on its journey from England to Australia. Despite its grandeur, the ship fell victim to the hidden dangers of the Great Barrier Reef, striking a submerged coral formation and sinking with passengers and cargo aboard. This contrast between human innovation and nature's power serves as a poignant reminder of our vulnerability. Rescue efforts were hindered by the remote location, showcasing the limits of 19th century technology. Today, the wreckage serves as a haunting reminder of the delicate balance between human endeavors and the resilience of nature. Number 4. SS Gothenburg, 1875. The SS Gothenburg, a tragic chapter in the maritime history of the Great Barrier Reef, met its demise in 1875. This vessel, launched as a symbol of modern engineering and luxury travel, embarked on a journey from Darwin to Melbourne, carrying passengers and valuable cargo. However, the voyage took a disastrous turn when the ship encountered the treacherous waters surrounding the Great Barrier Reef. Despite the crew's efforts to navigate safely through the reef's labyrinth, the Gothenburg struck a submerged coral formation, tearing a fatal gash in its hull. The contrast between the ship's opulence and the unforgiving nature of the reef couldn't have been starker. The once grand vessel, now crippled, quickly succumbed to the relentless onslaught of water, sealing the fate of all on board. The passengers, a mix of hopeful immigrants and seasoned travelers, found themselves thrust into chaos as the ship began to sink rapidly. The reef, known for its serene beauty, transformed into a deadly obstacle, claiming numerous lives in its grasp. Rescue efforts were hindered by the remote location and the sheer scale of the disaster, highlighting the challenges of maritime operations in the late 19th century. The tragic tale of the SS Gothenburg serves as a sobering reminder of the delicate balance between human ambition and the formidable forces of nature. Today, the wreckage of the Gothenburg lies as a silent testament to this contrast, a haunting reminder of the perils faced by those who dare to traverse the Great Barrier Reef. Number 3. AHS Centaur, 1943. The AHS Centaur, a hospital ship during World War II, tragically became one of the ships lost on the Great Barrier Reef in 1943. Departing from Sydney and bound for New Guinea, the Centaur carried medical personnel and wounded soldiers. Despite its mission of mercy, fate intervened when the ship was torpedoed by a Japanese submarine, sinking rapidly near Moraton Island. The contrast between the ship's humanitarian purpose and the brutality of war couldn't have been more stark. The vessel, adorned with the Red Cross emblem, fell victim to the violence of conflict amidst the natural beauty of the reef. The attack resulted in the loss of many lives, including nurses, doctors, and patients. Rescue efforts were launched, but the remote location and wartime conditions hampered the response, highlighting the challenges faced during this tumultuous period. The sinking of the AHS Centaur serves as a poignant reminder of the tragic intersection between human conflict and the vulnerability of those caught in its wake, even amidst the serene waters of the Great Barrier Reef. Today, the memory of the Centaur and its lost souls remains etched in history, a somber contrast to the reef's vibrant marine life. Number 2. SS Yam Gala, 1911. In 1911, tragedy struck the waters near the Great Barrier Reef with the sinking of the SS Yam Gala, a passenger and freight steamer. During a cyclone, the vessel disappeared without a trace, leaving behind a mystery that endured for decades. The wreckage of the Yam Gala was not discovered until 1958, lying on the ocean floor off the coast of Queensland. The contrast between the ship's once vibrant existence and its silent resting place on the seabed underscores the unpredictability of the sea. The SS Yangala's final voyage is shrouded in speculation and stories, as the vessel carried diverse passengers and a cargo manifest that included a racehorse. Today, 
The site of the Angala wreck has transformed into a thriving artificial reef, attracting marine life and diverse eager to explore the underwater memorial. The story of the SS Yan Gala serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of human endeavors in the face of nature's might, and how, over time, tragedy can give way to new life in the depths of the Great Barrier Reef. Number 1. HMS Pandora 1791 In 1791, the HMS Pandora, a British Royal Navy ship, faced a fateful encounter near the Great Barrier Reef, off the coast of Australia. The vessel was on a mission to capture the mutineers from the infamous bounty when disaster struck. During the pursuit, the Pandora ran aground on the outer edges of the reef, leading to its rapid sinking. The contrasting tales of heroism and tragedy unfolded as the crew faced the daunting task of survival amidst the treacherous waters and unforgiving coral formations. While some crew members managed to escape and make their way to safety, many others perished in the turbulent seas. The wreckage of the HMS Pandora lay undisturbed for over a century until its discovery in 1977, serving as a haunting reminder of the perils faced by sailors navigating the waters of the Great Barrier Reef. Today, the site of the Pandora wreck stands as a poignant testament to the maritime history of the region, offering insight into the challenges and sacrifices endured by seafarers in their quest for adventure and exploration amidst the natural wonders of the sea. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos.